Hey, what's up guys? Good morning and welcome back once again to Chris Aquariums. Today, this morning, I'm on my way to my fish store just down the road. I'm gonna pick up some Neon Tetris, some Daniels, just to fill up the 100 liter tropical tank. Then we're gonna make our way back home and I'm just gonna give you an update on my freshwater aquariums, the 100 liter community tank and the pond outside. The reason being is that I actually owe you guys a update on the saltwater tank because in the last few months there's been quite a few additions and dosings and things that have been happening so that requires a bit more editing because I've videoed, recorded a lot of that stuff over the last couple of months so while I work up my motivation to put that video together today we're gonna go pick up some fish we're gonna head home and I'm gonna give you an update on the freshwater tanks so I'll see you at the fish store Okay, we've got the fish, four Danios, four Neon Tetras, and we're heading home right now to put them in the tank. Okay, we're back home, so I'm gonna put these guys in to acclimate. There you go. They'll acclimate for about 20 to 30 minutes under the watchful eye of this guy. He doesn't hurt the fish at all. They're good friends with him actually, he just likes watching them. These are the fish that are going in, the Neon Tetras and the Danios, pink and yellow. I always used to be a purist in that the fish have to be correct, correct biotope and area, angels with neons, etc. But you know what, this is the main display tank in our living room and it's all about what you enjoy and with the black background and the colors of these fish, it's really important just to make something that you're going to enjoy looking at and keeping in your house. This one is actually a spotted Danio, you see that there? Instead of the stripes, got the spots on the side, that orange one. Yeah, it's quite cool. This is the outside pond. Let me turn off that pump just so we can see a bit better. Not much has been happening here because it is winter, so things don't grow as quickly. Um, and there's not too much to write home about. Even the fish, you know, are in a bit colder water, so they're in slightly go-slow mode. But the fish are doing well, they're still growing, plants are still growing, albeit smaller. This guy has really grown a lot since we got him and colored up a lot as well. And that's about it for the outside pond. Like I said, nothing particular, nothing too much to write home about. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes. Temperature in the tank will match the temperature in the bag. And we've been slowly adding some tank water just to match the perimeters parameters and it's time to put these guys in. Now once again it's important to remember that you don't want to add the water from the fish store. There could be all kinds of contaminants and uh, pests and things like that. So take a net, take the fish out the bag, leave the pet store water in the bag. Let's see how many we can get. And let's put them in. There we go. And let's get the final one. Okay. Let's take this out again. There you go. See, already they've all schooled up. Neon Tetris is very much a bottom to middle fish. It's Harry at the back there. And then our Danios are kind of congregating at the top here. You see what I mean though, that black background, colorful fish, bit of a glare, um, works perfectly, especially for, like I said, a living room tank, something you're gonna look at every day. 
So let's talk about this tank. The last time you guys would have seen it was with the Rescape, where we tore everything out and we redid it into this beautiful scape. The plants are slowly growing and filling into the spaces that we wanted to. As you may have seen the pond outside, the golden apple snail is no longer there. That's because it's winter here in South Africa and it's too cold outside for the snail. So in the summer, he comes inside into the tropical tank uh, in the winter and in the summer he goes outside into the pond which he loves tons of algae and things for him to graze on The important thing about this tank is that it is a community tank. It's an ecosystem every fish in here for the most part has a purpose uh, whether it be aesthetic or utilitarian um, these two angels are the stars of the tank uh, the big fish the beautiful ones have bred quite a few times as well then you have the dither fish, the ornamental fish, that's your neon tetras, and of course your danios as well. Neon tetras being a lower to middle water fish, um, except Harry, he goes all over the place. Uh, he's lightning bolt shaped, so Harry Potter. And then as you can see, the danios are very much um, top water fish. So you've got some movement and some color at every level. Then you have the quarry cats. This is the big albino quarry cat that we've had for a while. And you can see in the back there, a little bit, the peppered quarry cat. These two are bottom feeders and they clean up all of the uh, food that's gone onto the bottom of the tank. Then of course you have the snails. We have a whole bunch of assassins, assassin snails. There's one over there on the pump. To be honest with you, I have a bit too much. Since I added them in, they have decimated the population of trumpet snails, which was there before. Trumpet snails breed like crazy. These guys breed a lot less. So I haven't done a single culling since I've gotten them. But as you can see around, not the end of the world, but there's quite a few babies that they've put um, onto the rocks and things. Again, not the end of the world, but maybe I should start uh, toning it down a little bit, taking some of them out. But overall, this tank is looking great. I really enjoy the rescape. I think it looks great. It's great to watch. Tons of hiding spaces for the fish. We've got the big apple snail in from outside. We also have a nearite snail in here somewhere. And now with a couple other neon tetras and the danios, which are going across the top of the tank, it'll just add a bit more movement, a bit more color. But for a living room tank, for a community tank, for this ecosystem, I think it works incredibly well. I could do with a bit of a bigger filter. I find myself changing it a lot, um, maybe in the time to come. But other than that, the tank keeps itself mostly clean between the quarry cats, the snails, and the plants inside as well. But that's about it guys. Updates for my freshwater tanks. Nothing too much to write home about on the pond outside. Um, and a few things that have uh, changed and grown in and obviously a couple of additions from today on the 100 liter tropical community tank but like i said this is just a brief update on the freshwater tanks what's been going on wow this actually looks really good from this angle um, all the action going around and the colors like i said great living room tank but anyway uh, what i do owe you is a big update on the marine tank the salt water tank there's actually been quite a few additions of creatures and corals and dosings and a couple of things to come so i've got footage from that from the last couple of months like i said it's a bit of an editing chore but i'll get around to it and that's what's coming up next so thank you for joining us and i hope to see you once again as always on chris aquariums leave a like leave a comment and i'll see you soon